MMA was back in the mountains as LFA number 65 went down from Vail, Colorado. Hey, Fight fans, you're on crack with the UFC Hall of Famer, Pat Militich. We are over 8,000 feet above sea level, but somehow the Flatlander survived LFA 65. You thanks, okay? thanks to the oxygen. The paramedics helped me out a little bit, buddy. Yeah, yeah, yes, it was yes. close. He was breathing heavily, but he managed to survive. A lot of the fighters managed to survive, and what a night of finishes we saw here in Vail. We begin in the Bantamweight division. Adam Martinez, Corey Galloway. Galloway coming in with 11 victories. Martinez in trouble early, Pat, but he turned it on. Galloway landed a lot of great shots. Very, very crisp, very accurate shots. And had him in trouble numerous times. But I tell you what, talk about heart. Martinez come storming back. Gaining momentum as the fight went on, then lands that beautiful straight left hand and goes after it on the ground. Guillotine choke sunk in from Adam Martinez, who earns his sixth career victory. Women strawweight division, Dr. Sarah Schell and Pita Macias. There's Pita's sister cheering her on. Pita, of course, longtime friends of Ronda Rousey, judo background, and there's her judo throw. Yeah, it was obvious in those instances for sure. Michelle doing a great job during this fight. Really a good performance for taking five years off. Tough lady, fought tooth and nail with Macias. Macias, I think, is going to learn a lot from this fight from dealing with a longer, taller athlete. Shell shook off the ring rust pretty quickly, but it was all Pita Macias. She improved to 3 and 0. Oh. Moving over to the LFA featherweight division, Joe Anderson Brito and Chepe Mariscal. Out of the shadows comes Brito making his LFA debut against the always tough Amari Skull. Look, man, two very, very dangerous guys. Both Talking very, the entire time. I mean, a lot of aggression in that overhand left. Landing, watch this looping shot right there. And then the hammer fist. Oof, brutal, brutal finish by Brito. Aggressive guys. You just can't go in slinging like that. You know, it's a 50-50 chance that you're gonna come out on top. Violent finish by the Brazilian Joe Anderson Brito. He gets the knockout win. In the main event, a matchup of two top five flyweights, number four ranked Brandon Royval and number two ranked Joby Sanchez. Yeah, we were looking forward to a very exciting fight out of these two. But I tell you what, Roy Val took the excitement out of it for his opponent, Joby Sanchez, by just being very slick overall with his striking, smooth. Sanchez trying to lock up that darts, was not successful, and a beautiful transition to this sweep arm bar by Roy Val. You talk about great jujitsu. That was perfection. No answer from Sanchez. Roy Val earns his sixth career submission win and gets right back into the title discussion. Next week, the LFA makes their debut from Salt Lake City, Utah. The main event, 9-1 Tyler Diamond versus undefeated John Neal. Then we will take a week off back at it May 24th with LFA 67 from Branson, Missouri. LFA 68 on May 31st from Prior Lake, Minnesota. And then back to Cali, LFA 69 going down on June 7th and live on Access TV. Make sure you follow us on social media.